Verstappen, you are world champion. We are world champions. Until I find you. Thank you, Dietrich Mateschitz, for everything that you have done for us, for this team, and these championships are for you. Thank you. What an amazing season, people, most of the constructors. You guys really deserve it. But this is for Dietrich. I am the wind that waves. Austin is a fantastic city, it's a, always a great place to visit. It's quirky, it's dynamic, it's unique. Food, 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 all the time food. <laughs> it's always very nice to come here. I mean, of course, the track is amazing to drive, but also the city is amazing and always um, yeah, nice to uh, get a bit more steak in. You know, they say, keep Austin weird, and uh, they've certainly done that. You. Good to see you. Yeah, Chuck, see you. good to see you. Nice Chuck, how are you? Good morning. Good. Welcome, yeah. welcome. You guys all right? Yeah. Very good. We're heading up this ramp right here and heading on inside. We There's might something. need a spare if we roll one. Oh, <laughs> don't even say that. Don't even say that. Well, thanks. You good? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty fast paced, like I said, because we did not find it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, when we are allowed to drive, you know, also with the new Type R. And on a track we didn't know, it was actually a lot of fun to, uh, to go around there. Uh, which one is which? Does it matter? Does it matter which one we are? For this first lap, follow me around. Yeah. We've got a radio inside. We might not survive this. So, you're going to be doing the hot laps, and the hot laps is an out lap, and then just straight back in. <laughs> oh, it's really bumpy, eh? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> They kept reminding me there's only one car here and you know, there's only one car. I'm like, okay. So you both are looking forward, I assume, to FP1 and see what uh, happens uh, in practice. And some barbecue. And some barbecue. <laughs> and some barbecue. Someone scared the crap out of you. Has that ever happened? Oh yeah, the last time uh, actually it was with Max, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the last in, in Austria. Awesome. All right guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Welcome to Red Bull Formula One Garage. Today we've got a lovely sunny day. It's me, Charlie Wilson, just reporting from Austin, Texas. They're uh, certainly very close, you know, I get a lot of support in the Latin community, the US. Yeah, what I like is that it's also quite different um, places in the US, right? So different kind of culture as well. And uh, yeah, I think everyone enjoys coming to the US in general. I'm just very comfortable. I'm very close to home, so it's certainly a very enjoyable race. I'm a big fan of the circuit. It's really cool to drive the first sector, especially. It's really quick, like proper, like old school style uh, corners with, of course, quite a bit of runoff because of it being a new track, but it's always nice to drive. It will be nice, you know, to be able to come more often here. Yeah, this circuit is pretty unique and special, so yeah, it's certainly looking forward massively. Can I say the Constructors' Cup? You, you guys won the Constructors' Cup? Can I say that? Not yet. Not yet. But we will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be great for the team, you know, to get the Constructors' the Championship and, uh, and a one-two at the end. It will be an amazing, an amazing year. There is four races to go, so a lot still can happen. So yeah, we will, we will try our best. Yeah, me. So, sorry. Yeah, me too. I just. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> you go on. I already, I already forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so pop quiz. How many football or basketball players can you name? Footballers, quite a few. 
basketballers a bit less. Thanks. Cristiano, Messi. No, 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 football, mate. American, <laughs> American football. Oh, um, no, no. <laughs> Fantastic circuit, huge crowd, probably the biggest crowd in the history of Formula One here this weekend. We're looking forward you know, to racing and uh, hopefully having uh, the opportunity to close out the Constructors' Championship. Well, that would be a great achievement, you know, for the team, for everyone here. Uh, I really hope we are able to, to get to nail the Constructors' Championship. It would be something amazing for all of us. Yeah, of course, it's very important that we are going to win the, the constructors as well. We know we have a, a great uh, opportunity already this weekend, and uh, for sure, you know, Czech and I, we're going to do our very best to uh, to try and secure it here. No, they are amazing. You know, the the, the team, it's um, has done such a tremendous job. So it would be great. It would be massive for us to get to win the constructors. Obviously, P2 was the Pirelli tyre test, um, so we've used P1 data more for the predictions, and really it came out relatively similar to what we were expecting pre-event. Obviously, I'm expecting overtaking to be quite possible here, and also the fact that the race is a two-stop, um, I think, means you can make progress in the race, so the race really should be our priority. There were a lot of um, young drivers in P1, so we didn't get a good read on everyone so the margin's quite difficult to work out. So hopefully P3 will give us a better idea of that. And then we can decide um, which run plan to go down. We need to use P3 to decide if we think we've got the margin to use the medium versus whether we think uh, a scrub soft at the start of Q2 would be competitive enough. And now one question, your predictive margins are, are based on new tires? Yes. And what is the deck? Uh, over one lap on the soft. Um, I, I expect so it to be quite high, no? Yeah, so our hope is that, that the scrub tie would still be competitive enough. It's punchy but worth a go. Just don't fuck it up. Simple as that. There we go. Any other questions for Hannah? Uh, the run plan, as uh, has been mentioned, uses two sets of soft tyres. 
Uh, I don't think on the power unit side that we've got anything uh, that we need to sign off. My plan wise, we have a soft soft for FP3. Uh, apart from that, just a reminder to both drivers for a practice start to the end of the bit lane to do it on the flat, not on the hill, because uh, to make more representative. Thanks. Jeff, anything to add? Uh, nothing, thanks. Thanks. For you, David. No updates. Minute twice, hand, please. Yeah, the same, no updates. Thanks. Rob. No updates. Jonathan? Uh, nothing from me, thank you. Okay, thanks. Any other business from anyone? Okay, thanks. There he is. Ahoy! <laughs> Uh, ball pork. Yeah. Very flavoursome. Yeah. I'm not doing it with a helmet. Uh, we were at the fan experience. Uh, we had changed some tires uh, and then we took some pictures. Our Red Bull Fairy Godmother appeared. We, we were invited to the race. We're seeing it from a different perspective and from like just so zoomed in is just incredible. And to see it all come together and nobody does it better than Red Bull. That's true. <laughs> to, to cheer a driver on and to cheer for Je Checo, a Mexican driver, I think just means uh, so much. Todos los mexicanos en México, aquí en los Estados Unidos, es un placer, es un honor ser tu fan y a seguir adelante y vamos Checo. Why Max is so impressive uh, following competition in all my years that I have. Uh, there's very few other competitors uh, that are on that level. I think of Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Kobe Bryant. Uh, and I think Max and his competitiveness is what's so impressive. That's what drew me to Max as a driver. And to watch that, you know, just for all of us to bear witness to it, it's amazing. So, congratulations. Hola, <laughs> Checo. Hi, Tyler. She's been walking around our house all week saying that she gets to see her cousin, uh, Checo. <laughs> Wind this down a little bit. I say around 5 kph on average. Relative to P3. Uh, track temps also down around 3 degrees. So you know the drill for this outlet. Nice and positive through sector one. Boxing at the end of this one. Okay, session starts at three and a half. Uh, we could wait uh, another three minutes on top of that. There's uh, four cars ahead of you. Three. Okay, so manager now, bring those tyres down. Uh, hard luck, Max. Uh, tenth off pole. Good effort, Checo. Uh, all about tomorrow. Let's have a good race tomorrow, mate. Mm -hmm. Come and be quick tomorrow. That's what's most important. We are about to become champions, and he won't be able to see that, uh, which hurts a lot. But on the other hand, we, we want to make him very proud and his family tomorrow. You know, we're pushing super hard for him, uh, for Helmut as well. And, and just in general, you know, um, it's a, sad, a very sad day for, for the whole team. But uh, yeah, we think we have to keep going and uh, we have to, to make him super proud. It's okay, it's a lot of everything in the last sector. I had a big moment on the last sector to last corner. I went in and I don't know why. I have uh, a lot to, to owe to him for giving me the opportunity when I was 17 years old. and. Basically, the, the career I'm having right now, and also the life outside of it, you know, all of that. He was a very special man, very kind, very caring as well, and he will be missed a lot by, I think, a lot of uh, people in the team.
Yeah, so I mean, I, I ask you what they do for a living. Like that's like my TikTok. I, I was wondering if I could ask you what you do for a living in Spanish, but poorly, and then you just make fun of my pronunciation. Okay. okay. So what, do you, what do you really do for a living? I'm there in Mexico. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's awesome. That's a great video. What do you need for this? That's what they do for a living. For a living. <laughs> We've been on a you know, fantastic roll you know, the last few races, and if we can keep that momentum running, uh, having closed out the championship on the drivers, the next big challenge for us is to try and get that Constructors' Championship over the line for the first time in eight years. Um, you know, it would be a massive, massive achievement for the whole team. Yeah, it's an incredible team effort. I think um, everyone back at the factory and of course here at the track, you know, what they have delivered this year. Of course, we had a bit of a rough start, but everyone just kept their heads together, kept on pushing, kept on improving. And, uh, you know, to be here in Austin, of, of course, already winning one championship and now also fighting for the Constructors to try and, um, yeah, basically win it here is a, an incredible achievement. Yeah. Star, man. <laughs> Just the consistency, you know, the level of consistency we, we've been able to hit by winning so many races, by getting so many one and twos, that has been something unbelievable. I've only been with the team for two years, so certainly um, the second year has been very, very good as a team. Definitely in, in the years I've been with the team, uh, I think this has definitely been our strongest year. It really quickly, it's very gusty. I'm struggling a lot with the wind out there. How far ahead are we now? So, currently, Max will come out just ahead of Leclerc, so we're in a good gap. So okay, if you want to take it. Yeah, I'd like to. Fox, pick up her, Max. Beautiful, F beautiful. Long way to go. Max, we're in this together, mate. Head down, come on. Gap to Hamilton, 4.5. That's 17 laps remaining. Use up all your strikes now, Max. They need to be safe on track limits. Thanks for stepping. You are world champion. We are world champions. Thank you so much. And thank you, Dietrich Manischitz, for everything that you have done for us, for this team, and these championships are for you. Thank you. and help a marker to get the trophy today. Oh, this one was for Dietrich. I gave it everything out there, even though, of course, he had that stop. But, uh, yeah, I was a bit upset, but I just, you know, I just keep pushing. And, uh, yeah, congrats, guys. What an amazing season to win also the Constructors. You guys really deserve it. Good job, guys. 
nice to get the championship. But this is for Dietrich. Thanks to him and to all the Red Bull family. Well done, guys. Wow, what a race. I mean, it came alive after, unfortunately, a difficult pit stop for us. But, you know, Max kept his head. He kept fighting. We had a great car today. And Vincenco again coming through with you know, damage on his car. It's an un unbelievable year that we've been uh, having. We've broken our own records. But it's, look, it's testimony to the hard work that goes on, not just trackside, but you know, from all the men and women behind the scenes, you know, within the factory, in Milton Keynes, that work the long hours, and they're the unsung heroes. Uh, they, they deserve all the credit in the world. We'll celebrate in a real, true Red Bull fashion, you know, as he would have wanted. Um, and uh, you know, we'll play the music loud. We'll let our hair down. And um, yeah, there'll be plenty of Red Bull drinks tonight. <laughs> This was a, a typical race I think Dietrich would have loved to see. So uh, yeah, I'm extremely happy that we won today, but of course also to win the constructors here, it's, it's amazing and the whole team deserves it. It's amazing, I'm so proud of these guys for this constructors championship. You know, after eight long years, particularly on a weekend that, you know, we lost Dietrich, so he would have been incredibly proud of the way that these guys have driven for us and the result that we got today. Yeah, certainly. We really want to finish on a high, but it's been an incredible season. If we, we look back at how it is. more races to win, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's our most successful year so far. You know, that's amazing. Well, we can always do better. We can always we, do better. We always, we always want more. <laughs>